Hello, welcome to the Retro Show. I'm Barry Mike, and we're going to be talking about not Diablo, Free Diablo. Well, actually, it's Diablo. So this is an open source engine to replace Diablo. So I'll explain it a little bit better. So stay tuned. All right. So this is Free Diablo. Free Diablo. Anyways, Diablo. But what this team did, which I'm going to put a link in the description below, is I'm going to turn this down a little bit. And so what they did is recreate the back end, so the engine and all uh, the physics and blah, 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 whatever you want to call it, they recreated. it. However, you need the Diablo CD to actually get the resources, so all the characters, the NPCs, the monsters uh, into the game. Now, by this is just a first look. It's it's not um, a, not a finished product by far. They just started not too long ago. I just wanted to show you how far they went so far. So, as you can see, these are placeholders. They want to talk about uh, intro, multiplayer, credits, and exit. Of course, these are the only two things that work right now. Uh, from what I read, is they're going to have multiplayer and also. Um, they're going to have what's called plugin support or mod support. So let's take a look. All right. So as you can see, he walks just as fast. So let's move over here. Again, you can't click on anything right now. Here's all the end. There's a uh, stairwell. Listen, whatever his name is. Uh, also, you have all these NPCs over here. They're all in the animation, or just basically they're showing all the animation. So, here. Alright. And you see the guy who gets the. the is it an orphan guy? It's been a while since I played the first Diablo, so. And you have, of course, the famous church where you go into the dungeon and you can't go in there yet see you can't go in there you can't click on anything so so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to oh, they're all placing orders so I'm gonna go to hotkeys now I can go down the levels no clip what's no clip whatever I think oh yeah I can go through walls and stuff so I'm going to go down one level Oh, oh, press the key. <laughs> oh. So, all right, let me try this, let me try this. So it goes down one level. This is the first level. It's a lot brighter. I'm assuming that they're going to put graphics to make it a lot darker. Like, there's not very much to see right now, but there's just, again, it just started. Now, it's clipping. If I click on clipping, can I go through the walls? Yeah. What was it? Hotkeys. No clip. All right. So, let's try no clip. Oh! No? Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, that's cute. Must to see. Let's go down another level. I really like what they have so far. Again, they just started not too long ago. It's a small team. And if this is what's coming in the future, hopefully Blizzard will not shut them down. Let's go down again. Uh, yeah, everything's here. Let's go down again. Can I go further? Ooh. I really should play Diablo again. So anyway, I will put a link in the below. Maybe keep an eye on this project because it looks very promising. Like I said, they're going to do mod support, so you don't have to hack the game to implement mods. They're going to have mods bright built into the engine. And all, yeah, all you need is, when this thing comes out, all you need is a copy of Diablo 1. 
I'm assuming you can buy Diablo 1 from the Blizzard site because it needs just two files. It needs the executable and the... what was the other thing? I forget. Anyway, I, I know it's like a QD... Is it MDQ file, which is located on the CD, and the executable when you install Diablo is from, the, of course, the folder. And that's all you need. Put it in the directory, run the executable of free to blow, free to blow. No, sorry, there's a launching sequence, then there's a file, and Bob's your uncle. Okay, so that's free to blow. I'm uh, not able to play it, but uh, very interesting or curious to look at if you're a big fan of Diablo. And hopefully this project will come to fruition, if that's a proper, if I'm pronouncing that right, fruition. And uh, hopefully they're successful. So if you like these kind of videos, please click on give me a thumbs up. Or if you don't like these videos, give me a thumbs down. And any feedback would be appreciated. Until the next video, this is Bearded Mike, signing off.